Okay, we're still talking about electric fields, and in this video I'm going to solve a few problems that all deal with electric fields. And here's the first one. What is the magnitude and direction of the electric field one centimeter above a 24 microcoulomb charge? Now when they ask for the magnitude of the field, they just mean how strong the field is, the amount of electric field or the electric field intensity. In other words, how strong it is as opposed to the direction. And we're asked in this case for both, the magnitude and the direction. So I'll draw the charge. I'll just draw a little picture. So this is a positive charge. There's no negative sign. And the amount of charge, that's Q, is 24 microcoulombs. And I'm going to write it like this, 24 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, because micro means millionth, or 10 to the negative 6. And around a positive charge, the field is outward. Field lines always point outward around the charge. So above the charge, which would be at a, at a point up here, the field is up. So we know the direction, just based on the fact that the charge is positive, and we're told we want to find the field at a point one centimeter above the charge. So the distance between these two charges here is one centimeter, and that's going to be R in this equation. E, the electric field intensity, is KQ over R squared. K is the electrostatic constant. It's just a constant. Q is this big charge right here that's producing this electric field. R is the distance away from the field. That's one centimeter in this case and E is the electric field intensity at that distance. So we just put in the numbers. K is 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meters squared per coulomb squared times the charge. The charge is 24 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs and R is 1 centimeter and notice the units here. This is in meters K is Newton meters squared per coulomb squared, so we need to put our R in in meters. R is 0 0.01 meters, and that's squared, R squared in this equation. And we can do the, the calculation there on the calculator, and it comes out to 2.16 times 10 to the ninth Newtons per coulomb, so pretty strong, 2.16 billion Newtons per coulomb. That's the electric field intensity at this distance r from this charge q, as shown in this picture. In this problem we are asked, what is the strength of the electric field one millimeter away from a 38 microcoulomb charge? And then we're asked, if a two microcoulomb charge is placed in this field at this distance, what will be the force on it? Well, we can find the strength of the electric field around a charge with this equation. E is KQ over R squared. This equation gives us the electric field intensity E at a distance R from charge Q. So we want to find the electric field intensity at a distance of one millimeter from this charge Q. So we just put in these numbers. K is 9 times 10 to the ninth. Newton meters squared per coulomb squared. That's the electrostatic constant. It's always the same. Q in this case is 38 microcoulombs. So I multiply by 38 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And divide by R squared. R is 1 millimeter. That's 0 .001 meters. And that's squared. And note the units are consistent there. Meters and meters. And don't forget to square this R down here when you actually do the calculation. And we put that into the calculator, and we get 3.42 times 10 to the 11th. And that's Newtons per Coulomb, 10 to the 11th Newtons per Coulomb. And then there's a second part to this question. If a 2 microcoulomb charge is, charge is placed in this field at this distance, what will be the force on it? Well, the, the two microcoulomb charge is being placed in a field that is this strong, 3.42 times 10 to the 11th newtons per coulomb. So what's the force on it? Well, we can calculate the force with this equation, F equals QE. We just multiply the charge times the electric field intensity. This equation gives us the force F 
that's exerted on this charge Q in this field E. When a charge is placed in a field, charge Q experiences a force because of electric field E, and we just multiply those to get the answer. So Q is 2 microcoulombs, that's 2 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, and that's multiplied by the electric field intensity, which we just found a minute ago, 3.42 times 10 to the 11th newtons per coulomb, and the coulombs cancels, and we type that in the calculator and get an answer, 684,000 newtons. In this problem, we're told that an electron is traveling at 1.8 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. So that's a speed or a velocity. It's moving that fast when it enters an electric field that slows it. So we, we can draw this. I'm going to draw the electric field here. And electric fields are typically drawn as arrows because the electric field has direction. So that's the electric field E. And I'll write E with a little vector arrow over it because the electric field is a vector field with direction. And here comes this electron flying into the field. It's moving that way, and that field slows it. Notice that the field is pointing to the right, and so is the velocity, the velocity of the electron. The field is pointing to the right, and remember that the direction of the field is defined as the direction of the force that it would exert on a positive particle. So if I were to put a little positive charge in this field right here, it would get pushed to the right. The opposite is the case for a negative charge. If I were to put a little negative charge right here, it would get pushed in the opposite direction of the field. And that's what we have happening here. As this electron comes into the field moving in this direction, it experiences a force to the left that slows it. And we need to figure out how far it will penetrate into the field before it stops. And it will actually stop and then get accelerated back in the other direction. But we're just going to find the distance that it goes before it stops. And I'm going to do this using energy. I'm going to first find the kinetic energy of the electron. It's 1 half mv squared. And I know the mass of an electron. That's a known constant. The um, mass of an electron is 9.11, and I'll write this out, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. Very, very small. And then I multiply by the velocity squared. So that's 1.8 times 10 to the 6 meters per second squared. So that's 1 half times m times v squared. And when I put all that into the calculator, I get an answer. 1.476 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. And that's not a lot of energy. 10 to the negative 18th, remember, is a very, very small number. That's not a lot of energy, even though it's moving so fast, simply because the electron is so small. But that's the energy, the kinetic energy of the electron. Now, the electron experiences a force in the field. And the force is equal to Q times E. Q is the charge on the electron. That's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs and the electric field strength were given 6,200 newtons per coulomb. So I multiply that by 6,200 newtons per coulomb, and that gives me 9.92 times 10 to the negative 16th newtons. So that's the force acting on the electron. And then I know that force times distance is work. So work, remember, work is force times distance. So that means distance is work over force. And work is the same thing as energy. This electric field does, does work on the electron, or in, a, in this case, it, uh, it exerts a force which causes the speed to decrease, so it loses kinetic energy and we know the amount of energy. We're going to put that right in here for work, and the amount of energy is the kinetic energy of the electron that we calculated. So I'll put in 1.476 times 10 to the negative 18th joules, and I'll divide that by the force, which I calculated just a minute ago, 9.92 times 10 to the negative 16th newtons. 
and that gives me the distance and that comes out to 0 0.0015 meters and if we needed to we could calculate the acceleration or other things but in this case we were told to find how far it penetrates into the field and there we have it 0.0015 meters or one and a half millimeters